Good morning. You hear that? You hear that the wind is not trying to assault us in all from all directions today? So, last night was a little windy, but we had some big ass rocks to put on our stakes, so our tent only had some minor issues. And today we're gonna drop down and hopefully make it to Walker Pass because our dumbasses thought we had more than enough food to make it to Kennedy Meadows. We was wrong. We was mucho wrong. We is hungry and we don't have a lot of food left. So we know that we have another two days after today and there's absolutely no way that we would make it to Kennedy Meadows without being really, really hungry. So we're gonna get off at Walker Pass and hopefully go into Ridgecrest or Onyx or wherever. Um, whom, whomever will take us wherever, whichever direction we're gonna go and get some food and hopefully maybe get back on trail tonight. We know that tomorrow night it's supposed to rain and snow maybe, but we'll be pretty close to Kennedy Meadows, but we'll see. It's only a 30% chance, so that's pretty good odds. Anywho, the wind has died down quite a bit. The wind advisories, I think, are over for the most part where we are. It's just like your regular 20 mile an hour gusts compared to your 50 to 60s, which was brutal. And yeah, today's gonna be a better day. And I know sometimes people don't like to see the raw reality of me being in a bad mood or being upset or not wanting to fake it and say, oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, yesterday was hard. It was very windy. It was. The wind was so strong that you physically couldn't walk the direction like you wanted to. Yeah, it was like walking in a cold hurricane. Well, I guess hurricanes could be cold. But it was like walking with people just punching you in all directions. And I've never wanted to fight a force of nature physically as much as I wanted to just hit the wind. I just wanted to slap it. Um, so yeah, that's you'll get the reality. You're not going to get the every day of sunshine and rainbows out here. And we knew starting as early as we did that we would have these weather issues, but that doesn't make them any more enjoyable. So, but today is gonna be a beautiful day. The sun is shining. The wind is already not assaulting us. So fingers crossed that it stays that way. And yeah, we'll have a good day 36. made it to Walker Pass and a lovely gentleman of tie-dye Dave scooped us up and brought us to Ridgecrest and we decided that oh my god my foot is sticking out help me is it, is it out okay is it out or is it down okay. <laughs> sorry the wind has my butt out um any hoosers we got dropped off at the Oasis Hotel and now we're headed to grab some food and um, some more snacks since that was our main reason for coming into town and um, some news from up north is that there's some weather in the Sierras so uh, the people that we are going into the Sierras with they are we're gonna go in on Sunday so now we don't have to get to Kennedy Meadows for Saturday so it kind of makes um, makes it easy for us so we can get there you know Saturday at some point so we can prepare by our ice axes and get our bear vaults and stuff but now we eat So we thought all of our food, we had enough for six days, but how much more did we get, Corey? About 20 pounds. <laughs> so as you can see, our basket is pretty full with two days of food, but we're gonna take some extra with us to Kennedy Meadows because our, I think the boxes we sent to Kennedy Meadows just didn't have enough in them. So we're 
packing out a little bit more than we're used to and two pounds of Sour Patch watermelons. All right, so we got two days worth of snacks. We had a good lunch. We are now holed up in the Ridgecrest Oasis Hotel watching Twister, which is weird because we were just talking about Twister the other day and now it's on TV. But anyway, um, we'll be back tomorrow at Walker Pass and uh, that's gonna be good night from today. Bye. We got up this morning with full intentions of hiking out. We went to the little diner just around the corner from the old Oasis Inn. Uh, we got picked up yesterday by Tie-Dye Dave and he brought us to the Oasis Inn and told us about the diner. And so we woke up this morning. I slept like absolute garbage last night. The pillows were are so thick <laughs> that like my head was, I just couldn't get comfy. Anyway, um, I woke up at like four o'clock this morning just like, what are we doing? So eventually we got up, we went and got breakfast and we were getting ready to check out when we realized that in Kennedy Meadows tonight, they're going to be getting some wintry mix from about 7 p.m. to 11 a.m. tomorrow. So, and then there was like a winter weather advisory over 5,000 feet. So because we didn't want to risk being in the storm, which we are still 50 miles from Kennedy Meadows. So we're not necessarily worried about the storm, but in the chance that we might get rained on. We decided today to take a zero. Um, but it also is going to work out because Corey's friend Kern, Wild Bill, who hiked the PCT, who we've been using as a wonderful resource, is going to be visiting us in Kennedy Meadows on Sunday. Today is Thursday. So it actually gives us a really good like timeline to get there by Sunday morning um, if we take a zero today. And that way we can miss the storm if it's going to hit us. Looks like the Northern Sierras are going to be getting hit with multiple feet of snow, but um, in the Southern Sierras only four to 10 inches. So the slower we go, the longer we have for that snow to melt off. Um, so hopefully we will get to Kennedy Meadows on Sunday and hike north into the Sierras on Monday. So a few more days until we are headed into the Sierras. Oh, it's cold. You can see there's snow up there. Bye, Dave. Okay, we just got dropped off at Walker Pass from Tie Dye Dave, and uh, it's, there's some snow up there. It's very windy and cold, so I think we're going to be in for a day. But at least we're coming off a of zero missed the storm and uh, we're ready to finish this last little leg of the desert to Kennedy Meadows. Seven, six and a half ish miles into the day and I think it's very cold but it's not too cold it's cold. it's cold the wind has been dying down but we are still getting some really strong gusts but nothing unmanageable I definitely think this climb out of Walker Pass has been like there were some of the prettiest views I think so far so that was really nice and kind of refreshing. And I'm not sure if it was from the three co cups of coffee I had this morning or what, but I was feeling so rejuvenated. Um, but it's a little chilly, we're taking a little break. We have a little bit left in this climb and then we'll drop down and we have a couple other climbs today. So looks like it's gonna be a lot of moving today up and down, but we're only a little, little ways away from Kennedy Meadows.
we, the first time this ever happened, we were going to stop short of where our day was because we are having to climb this hill and we're worried about the wind and the cold. And the one little stealth spot was already taken when we got there. And we got there early, it's like 4.30. So I think everyone's just been traumatized with the high winds that we've been having. And so now we are having to actually go up. But it looks, from down here, it doesn't look windy. So we will see how it looks from up there and how windy it is. caught my flipping bag on fire. So we are in the saddle where we had not wanted to camp because we were worried about the wind, but it looks like there is not much at the moment. So we're hoping that it just stays mild for the night. Um, it is very cold as you can see by my breath. Um, so we are gonna make dinner and hop right into bed and Hopefully we can stay warm tonight. So, good night. See ya later. <laughs>